guys, how I healed my damaged hair. So here is how my hair used to look. I had very, very damaged hair and I damaged it so much to the point where I actually ruined the natural structure of my hair. So as you guys can see, I've healed my hair now and it is pinned straight. This is how it air dries. And this is the hair that I had as a child. But when I was growing up and in my early teens, I started to straighten my hair, which I don't even know why, like, that makes no sense now that I think about it. But I was like getting all into the heat styling and just experimenting and I damaged my hair so much with a straightener that my hair became wavy when I air dried it and it looked frizzy and wavy and it was so damaged that I actually couldn't grow it past about this length. So I'm going to share with you guys exactly how I healed my hair. Like here's my hair now. I have a very simple minimalistic hair care routine. I feel like simple is best. So the first thing that I did to heal my hair was I stopped heat styling, which I'm pretty sure that you guys probably could guess that that's what I was going to be doing. But I stopped heat styling altogether. I actually took a two year break from all heat styling of all types, blow drying, straightening, curling. So in order for me to like deal with going out, I would often just braid my hair after a shower, sleep with my braids in, and then I'd have be rocking like waves. So then I would look a little bit more presentable and a little bit less frizzy, or I would just put my hair up a lot, ponytail or something like that, or like a sock bun. And that is what I did for two years. And then after two years, um, my hair was back to a pretty good health again. So I would say that 60% at least, or maybe even 70% is just not over processing and damaging your hair like it's not like you can continue to damage your hair and then expect to just fix it with all these products you have to stop the damage what's causing the damage right the next thing i did was i stopped using sls shampoos or shampoos that contained sodium laurel sulfate as the main cleansing agent this is extremely harsh and drying on the hair and it made my hair very frizzy that's basically what it did it made it look dry and frizzy so i avoided all shampoos that had sls in them and if you just like literally go to, into your grocery store and look at the bottles of shampoo you'll see it'll say sls free on the front of the bottle or you you will actually like literally have to take it and turn it around and look at the ingredients and if the first ingredient says sodium laurel sulfate, then it's probably gonna be very drying for your hair and it's probably gonna make your hair really frizzy. I just found that my hair was sensitive to that, so that really made a huge difference in the appearance of my hair, it was just switching that one thing in my hair care routine. Okay, so this is for people who color treat their hair. If you guys can see, I actually have copper highlights. So my recommendation is you don't color your treat your hair more than like twice in a six month time frame. If you're color treating your hair every month, I think that's too damaging to the hair and it's going to be really difficult to maintain healthy hair if you are putting your hair through that chemical treatment every you know month or so. And so you might want to consider cutting back on that. I only color treat my hair twice a year and it is really difficult but what I did was I just started going darker and matching my roots so that I didn't have roots anymore because I actually used to color treat my hair a much lighter color and then obviously it was more difficult to maintain because you had the roots. I just did something that enabled me to color treat my hair less. So yeah, if you color treat your hair, I use this which is designed to tone copper or blonde highlights so that they don't look brassy, they don't look like yellow, they look more like blonde. And I have found that these particular shampoos that you can get at any salon, and I'll also link it down below if you can't find them. Everything I'm talking about, I'll link down below. I find that those are, those shampoos, like these shampoos are very non-drying. They're very, very moisturized. Doing something right with the formula because I have never had an issue with over dryness and using these purple shampoos. I always just ask like, do you have purple shampoo at my hair salon? Next thing is quench. I'm talking like a conditioner that it's like every time you condition your hair, it feels like you're doing a deep treatment hair mask. That's the kind of conditioner that you want to go for. So one of the conditioners that I really, really liked, actually one of the brands I really liked was called Live Clean because it had SLS free shampoo. And it also had a really, really moisturizing conditioner. I think it was like coconut milk or they had an argon one. 
I will link them below. Live Clean is a great brand. It is affordable. I'm not sponsored by Live Clean. This is not like a Live Clean video. It's just like legitimately one of my most favorite shampoos because it was non-drying and very moisturizing and it was very budget friendly. It's on par with normal shampoos. It's not like this overpriced fancy shampoo that you got to break the bank for every time you need to buy a new shampoo. And you could basically find it at any grocery store, at least here in Canada. So I'll definitely link it below on Amazon if you want to check it out, check out the reviews and stuff. But I also buy a lot of Pantene conditioner just because price wise, it's really good. I think, I don't remember how much this was, maybe like 10 or $12, but this is like almost a liter. So it lasts a really, really long time. And I find that this conditioner just like works so good. It's literally like a deep treatment hair mask every time I use it. It's like literally the most moisturizing conditioner. I would say drugstore brand conditioners that I have personally ever tried. It just really does the job to quench the hair and to really like cut the frizz and just super moisturized. It makes my, my hair like really smooth and really, really soft. I'm kind of a diehard for the Pantene conditioner brands. I don't like the shampoos because they have SLS in them, but the conditioners highly, highly recommend. The next thing I do is like, this is a very minimalistic hair care routine. I just want to show you guys how simple my hair care routine is. The next thing I use is again, Live Clean, but find yourself a really good leave-in conditioner. I always just spritz this on like after I ooh, literally just like bumped into my tripod. <laughs> I always spritz this on after I get out of the shower, just as an extra layer of, you know, smoothing before I go ahead and blow dry my hair on low. And it just gives it that extra, you know, extra smoothness, extra shine. There's argon oil in this. But you know, depending on your hair type, you might want to use something a little bit more heavy or I've seen um, women use like styling gels or mousses or something that enhances their natural hair type. But for me, because my hair is pinned straight, this works great. And the last thing I do, and I do this on a very sporadic basis, is I will use a hair repair treatment, a very, very intense hair repair treatment. It's a bonder. It's known as a hair bonder and it's called Olaplex. And the way like Olaplex works is it's not a conditioner. It says so very on the bottle. It is a bond builder. What this does is it actually restores the structure of your hair, like the pro, cause your hair is made up of proteins. And when your hair is super damaged, the proteins, they've been broken apart. And that's what makes your hair appear damaged split ends, the shafts have like all these little hair. This stuff has like kind of like, it acts like glue on a molecular level and it bonds the proteins back together and kind of glues your hair shafts back together, the proteins. That's what this is. It acts as a hair bonder as they call it. It restores the structure and strength of your hair. So internally your hair is going to be repaired. You'll see like tons of reviews of this stuff, how it completely healed and repaired so many people's damaged hair, especially people with curly hair I found have had really great results with this. I have a whole before and after video of this, which I will link in the description for you guys. But this stuff, I've had this now for over a year. Depending on how much you use it, you're only supposed to use it max two, three times a week, but I honestly only use this monthly because I don't have like super, super damaged hair. But if you're like really like hardcore, want to go into like a hair rehab and just go like all out, then probably use this once a week. Stop heat styling and the SLS free shampoo really worked wonders for me and find a really, really great hair mask or deep conditioner that you can use regularly every time you shower. Don't use a crappy conditioner and then just do like a hair mask every week. I don't think that's gonna be enough moisture for your hair. Find something that you can use every day when you shower or every second day, whatever your shower routine is. If you really wanna go hardcore, the hair bonder is great. If you like beauty tips in general, subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.